Hey guys, it's me Jermaine Morgan and today I'm going to show you a way that you can use a relative major lick over a dominant groove. Stay tuned. Alright, so in the beginning of this video, you heard me play a pretty cool lick. It was really dominant sounding. Okay? Okay, so for the sake of the example today, I'm going to be in the key of G dominant. Now what I'm doing is I'm taking the relative major of G dominant. I'm going up to the B flat. You know, to grab the relative major, all we have to do is go up four. Okay, and we're right there at B flat. So I'm taking that B flat using a major pentatonic and B flat. Okay, and all I'm doing is I'm adding one note, a chromatic note, just to add a little more flavor, a little more spice to it. That's all I'm doing. So again, what I'm doing in context. Now I'll slow that down so you can hear it all together. Instead of landing on the low G, we're gonna land on that uh, octave G and it's giving us a different aggression when we land that. So again, I'll do it slow. So we're going to be repeating a few of those notes as you can hear. So again, one more time, we're going to slow it down even a little bit more. So right off the bat, you can hear we have some triplets happening in this particular lick. So you can hear all of those happening. Now the first one is a slow triplet. Back down. That's the first part. And we repeat that same pattern but down a string. regular major pentatonic and catch that octave G and that's the entire lick so again and again this this works great in a dominant key um, going up to the relative major and just kind of taking something that's normally a major sound and adding one note and changing the texture of it and that's all we're doing is playing a major pentatonic. Now you could play it regular and get the same effect, but if you just want to um, switch it up a little bit just so it doesn't sound as much like a, a scale, that's a great way to do it. Now this is just one particular way you can do it in this particular context. Now I challenge you to start playing around with the relative major over your dominant stuff. See how you can kind of start to push the envelope in your plan and see what you come up with. So comment below and let me know some of the things that you've tried uh, with the relative major and I'd love to hear from you. Also guys, if you have a chance, head over to JermaineMorgan.net and check out my latest album, Dreams Work Reality. It's also available on all digital platforms, iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, Tidal, you name it, it's there. 
be sure to check it out and i appreciate you guys for watching these videos as always and remember if you want this full lesson just click the link below and i'll see you there take care hey thanks for watching today's video and listen if you enjoyed the content click the subscribe button and don't forget to turn on my notifications so you can be notified each week once i post a new video i really appreciate you guys being here and check it out if you want more content like this and if you want to get even more in depth on the bass lessons remember to head over to jermainemorgan.net there i have many more bass lessons i talk a little bit more in depth on some of these subjects that we've covered here on youtube and i also have music most of you don't know but i am an artist as well so i do have music available there if you want to hear me really play <laughs> i have music there so check it out and i will see you guys on next week thank you i'm out of here